If you're watching this video right now, you're probably looking for ways to boost your income and take your career to the next level. And well, you're in luck because today we're gonna be diving into the world of high paying certifications that can help you make serious bank online. So stick around because by the end of the video, you'll have a roadmap to potentially earning hundreds or even thousands of dollars more per month. Now, before we jump into these certifications, let me tell you something. These aren't gonna be your run of the mill dime a dozen certs. We're talking about the cream of the crop, the certifications that make employers and clients go Wow. wow, and reach for their wallets. So buckle up and get ready to take some notes because your future self is going to thank you for watching this video. But before we move on to the first item on the list, make sure to hit the like button on this video if you appreciate all of our hard work. And by the way, we've literally gotten hundreds of comments from people that have loved these certifications and certificates that we recommend, and some of them are reasonably priced or even free. So let's kick things off with a certification that's hotter than a fresh cup of coffee on a Monday morning. The AWS Certified Solutions Architect Certification is like the golden ticket of the tech world. And AWS stands for the Amazon Web Services, and it's taking over the cloud computing space faster than you can say, Alexa, order me a pizza. And do you know what that means? Well, companies are desperate for AWS experts. We're talking six-figure salaries while barely having any experience. And basically, anything cloud-related is gonna be super valuable, but AWS tends to be the most valuable out of all of them. So to get this certification, you'll need to learn AWS fundamentals. You're gonna to wanna to study cloud architecture best practices, take practice exams, and then schedule and pass the official exam. Here's someone from Reddit who managed to pass this certification and they're offering tips on how to pass. Here's another one. And a job that you can get with this cert would be becoming a cloud architect. And this cert equips you with the skills to design cost-effective, scalable architecture across AWS services. And cloud architects earn anywhere from 111 to $203,000 a year. Another one you could get into would be a DevOps engineer that specializes in working with the cloud and they make 85 to $145,000 a year. You could also become a solutions architect and they make about 119 to 230 $13,000 a year. Now, I know what you're thinking. I'm not a tech genius. Well, guess what? You don't need to be. With online courses and practice tests, you can prepare for this exam even if you're starting from scratch. And you can do it at a very affordable price. Now, without a doubt, the best way to get started in IT would be the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. And this would be best for absolute beginners who don't know anything about IT. And I made an entire video on why that one is so good. And you can check it out by clicking down in the description and in the pinned comment below. Now, once you've got that cert in your hands, you're going to be able to get a job. And then once you have a job, you're going to look much better to potential employers. And on average, people who have this cert make between $100,000 and $150,000 per year. So that is enough to make your bank account do a happy dance. Next, certification number two is going to be the Salesforce Certified Administrator. And this one is all about mastering the art of customer relationships. And having this certification is like having the keys to the customer kingdom. Now, Salesforce is basically the 800-pound gorilla of customer relationship management, or CRM software. And it's used by companies companies big and small to manage their customer interactions. And of course, they need experts to run the show. So to get this certification, you want to sign up for a free Salesforce Trailhead account. You want to complete the admin beginner and admin intermediate trails. And then you want to get hands-on practice with a free Salesforce developer account. Then you want to take and pass the Salesforce Certified Administrator exam. Now here's someone that's wondering if taking the certification is worth it. This person has been a Salesforce admin for two years. And of course it is. The response explains that he's in the best place to get the certification. He even goes on to say that it advanced his career after taking it. Here's another success story. This is a post from someone asking new admins how they landed their jobs. And this guy was really affected by the pandemic and was almost close to living in his car. But in the same year, he got certified and landed a job as an admin. And three years later, he's in a far better financial situation than he could imagine. Kudos to this guy. So yeah, some jobs that you can get from this cert would be a Salesforce administrator. They make about 65 to $103,000 a year. You could also be a CRM manager and they make about $64,000 to $116,000 a year. Now, I'll be honest with you, this certification isn't a walk in the park, but it's not like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded either. With dedication and practice, you can absolutely nail this one. And on average, people who have this cert make seventy dollars to $120,000 per year. And if you decide to go freelance, you could be looking at rates of seventy-five dollars to $150 per hour. So you can make money outside of your job as well. Now, by the way, you're probably wondering, how do I even get into a sales job in the first place, especially a sales job that is in technology because that's where the money is. And of course, as always, I've got the answer for you. I do have a free training on how to get into an entry-level tech sales job, which I'll put down in the description and in the pinned comment below. Once you get into that job, getting a cert like this can be even better. The next one is going to be the HubSpot Inbound Marketing Certification. And this one is all about attracting customers like bees to the honey. And the HubSpot Inbound Marketing Certification is kind of like having a PhD and making people fall in love with your brand. And in today's digital age, traditional outbound marketing is about as effective as trying to catch fish with a butterfly net. Inbound marketing 
is where it's at. And this certification teaches you how to master it. So to get this certification, you want to sign up for HubSpot Academy. It's free. Then you want to complete the inbound marketing course. Then you want to pass the exam. And the best part, the certification is 100% free and it can be completed in just a few days. It's kind of like finding a $100 bill on the sidewalk, except this one keeps multiplying. So here's an anecdote from someone asking if HubSpot certifications are any good. And of course they are. According to this user, HubSpot is a great resource and used by tons of companies. He's also working in a HubSpot partner firm. Here's another post asking for the best marketing courses. And there's a response that gave a list of the best marketing courses. And number one, of course, is the HubSpot inbound certification. And some jobs that you can get from this cert are going to be a content marketing specialist, and they earn around $44 to $70,000 a year. And of course, the best type of content marketing is YouTube. And of course, I have a free crash course on how to get really good at YouTube down in the description in the pinned comment below. You can check that out. Next, you can also become an SEO specialist, and they make about $43 to $76,000 a year. And with this certification, you can earn anywhere from $50 to $100 per hour as a freelance inbound marketing consultant. Or if you prefer full-time positions, we're typically going to be talking salaries from $50 to $90,000 per year, which is not bad for a free certification. Next is the Google Analytics Individual Qualification. And this is a certification that's all about understanding what makes people click, literally. The Google Analytics Individual Qualification is like having a superpower that lets you see into the mind of website visitors. And in today's digital world, data is king. And if you can speak the language of data, you're basically royalty. Now, this certification teaches you how to use Google Analytics and track website traffic. But it also teaches you how to understand user behavior and make data-driven decisions that can skyrocket a company's online presence. And to get this certification, you can sign up for the Google Analytics Academy. You complete the Google Analytics for Beginners and Advanced Google Analytics course. Then you can study additional resources and then take and pass the exam because it's free. Now, here's someone that was wondering how long it took to finish the Google Analytics cert. And according to this response, they could finish the cert in six weeks if done full time. And here's someone who found success with the Google cert. And they said after working 10 plus years as a bartender, he took the Google cert and built some projects, took some more classes and got rejected a lot. But then he finally got a job in the end. Now, essentially, while the Google cert isn't a magic bullet, having it in your resume just adds more to your your credibility. And when you're looking for a job in this economy, you need all the help you can get. Now, by the way, one of the jobs you could potentially go into would be data analytics and data analysts earn anywhere from 101 to $175,000 a year. And another cert that you should get that's actually much easier and faster to get would be the Google data analytics professional cert, which is hosted on Coursera. And it's not free, but you get the first seven days free and it only costs about $50 a month. And most people are going to finish it within a month. So you can definitely check that out in the description and the pinned comment below. That one has an unbelievable amount of positive feedback online. Then you can also become a web analytics consultant and they make about 85 to $145,000 a year. And with this certification, you can earn anywhere from 50 to $150 per hour as a freelance analytics consultant. Or if you prefer the stability of a full-time job, we're talking about salaries anywhere from 60 to $100,000 per year typically. Now, before we move on to the next one, comment down below your thoughts on online certifications. Are you willing to put in the time to elevate your skills? Next is going to be the CompTIA Project Plus Cert. So listen up up future project wizards. If you thought juggling was just for circus performers, wait until you hear about this cert. It's like a crash course in herding cats, but way more profitable. Now in the world of business, Project Plus certified pros are the secret sauce that keep everything from falling apart. They're the ones who can turn a chaotic mess of tasks into a beautiful symphony of productivity. And to snag this certification, you'll need to one, study project management fundamentals, learn about project life cycles, roles, and interpersonal skills. Three, understand business and IT project elements. And four, pass a single exam. So here's someone who passed their test and this person shares their successful study strategy, which included using various resources like video courses, practice tests, and reading materials over a three week period. They also note that the certification may not be worthwhile unless required for a specific program or career path. And that's a very important thing is all of these certifications need to be used strategically if you're trying to get into a specific type of career path. Here's another one on the impact of the certificate on their life. And this guy went from flipping burgers at McDonald's to now making six figures. So some jobs that you can get with this cert would be junior project manager. They make about 55 to $91,000 a year. There's also IT coordinators. They make about 52 to $83,000 a year. And then you've got business analysts and they make about 82 to $134,000 a year. Now, I won't lie to you. Mastering project management is like trying to nail jelly to a wall. 
but with Project Plus, you'll at least have the right hammer for the job. And with this cert, folks can start off earning between $40,000 and $70,000 a year with experienced pros pulling in six figures. And if you use this as a stepping stone to bigger certs, you might need to build a project plan just to manage your growing bank account. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because we put out super helpful content like this all the time. Next is going to be the CompTIA Security Plus cert. And this one is for you digital defenders out there because it's time to suit up. The CompTIA Security Plus certification is like your first class ticket to the thrilling world of cybersecurity. And this one is gonna be the Swiss Army knife for those of you who want to be first in the line of defense against cyber baddies. And in this digital Wild West age, companies are on the hunt for sharpshooters who can spot a cyber outlaw from a mile away. And that's where the Security Plus Certified Pro comes in, ready to build virtual fortresses around precious data. So to snag this certification, you'll need to one, study cybersecurity fundamentals, two, learn about network security compliance and operations, three, understand threats, vulnerabilities, and incident response, four, pass a single exam, it's 90 minutes and 90 questions. And to be completely honest with you, you should start with the Google Cybersecurity Professional Cert first, because that's going to give you a fundamental understanding of how cybersecurity works, and then take a cert like this one after that. And that'll be down in the description in the pinned comment below, so you can check it out. Now, I'm not going to pull your leg. This is not a walk in the park. It's more like a brisk jog through a park filled with invisible tripwires. But once you cross that finish line, you'll be cyber invincible. Now, here's some practical advice from people who have done the cert. This post discusses the practical benefits of the CompTIA Security plus cert while emphasizing that it alone is not sufficient for career advancement. So this stresses the importance of gaining additional skills, experience, and certs to stand out in the IT and cybersecurity job market. Here's another one asking if the certification is worth it. And according to this post for entry level roles, it definitely is. So it's a great certification if you want to get your foot in the door. Now, some of the jobs you can get with this cert would be an information security analyst. They make about 90 to $147,000 a year. Another one would be a network administrator. They make about 57 to $95,000 a year year. And another one would be a systems administrator. They make about sixty dollars to $96,000 a year. Now, CompTIA Security Plus holders can start their careers earning between fifty dollars and $80,000 per year, with experienced pros pulling in six figures. And if you use this as a launch pad for more advanced certs, well, you might need to upgrade your piggy bank to a high security vault. Now, by the way, guys, sharing is caring. So if you think this video is useful, make sure to show it to your friends or anyone who might need it. Next cert is going to be QuickBooks Certified. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bookkeeping software? That sounds like a snooze fest. But hold on to your ledgers, folks, because this certification is like having a financial Swiss army knife in your pocket. Now, in the world of small business finance, QuickBooks certified pros are the unsung heroes. They're the wizards who can transform a jumble of numbers into crystal clear financial insights faster than you can say tax season. Now, to become QuickBooks certified, you'll need to one, choose online certification, two, study QuickBooks features and functions, three, pass the certification exam, and four, maintain your certification with annual updates. Now, when it comes to anecdotes about this, uh, this advice makes a lot of sense. This person is an entry level receptionist and was asking for feedback if getting a QuickBooks certification is still working worth it, even though the program is shutting down. And according to this response, an employer would be more likely to pay attention to a person who has a cert than someone who doesn't, which is really just practical advice. And here's another one, a 16 year old who already wants to get certified. And when you're at that age, you can do almost anything. This is your greatest asset. And I highly recommend people start taking certs even at a young age. Now, some jobs you can get from this cert would be, of course, a bookkeeper. QuickBooks is the most common bookkeeping software out there. And they make about 44 to $69,000 a year. Then you've got small business consultants, and they make about 75 to 137 thousand dollars a year. You could also become an accounting assistant and they make about 45 to 65 thousand dollars a year. So yeah, this is one of the easier ones to get into. There's a lot of really good accounting related jobs out there. I would also recommend checking out the course careers free accounting course because there's more accounting related careers out there than just bookkeeping. And I'll put that in the description in the pinned comment below. Now, by the way, if you're interested in other online certifications that are amazing, I did make a video called the top five online certifications that are actually worth it. And you can check that out by clicking right here.